We may know why Travis Kelsey hasn't joined girlfriend Taylor Swift on tour just yet. Plus, one star is making her SNL hosting debut next month, and another just went nude in Vanity Fair. Don't worry, we'll explain. Hi, welcome back to a quick look, a pop culture show while I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines in entertainment and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell, let's get into today's show. First thing is first, a lot of Swifties are freaking out, nervous, because Travis Kelsey has yet to join girlfriend Taylor Swift on tour. I think we all need to take a collective breath and relax, but we also might know why Travis hasn't gone down to Australia just yet. So earlier this week, Travis was spotted in Las Vegas. Yes, he's returned back to where he won his third Super Bowl for a charity golf tournament. Now, this might explain why he hasn't made the trek down to Australia. He's got some work commitments, things he has to do prior to being free, being able to go on vacation, have a good time. And in fact, his dad, Ed Kelsey, actually explained or revealed a little bit as to why Travis hasn't gone down. So Ed did an interview and was asked if Travis was planning to go to Taylor Swift's tour with her. And he said that he asked Travis about this after the Super Bowl, asked if he was gonna go with, with Taylor on tour. And Travis said that he was hoping to be able to make it down for Taylor's Sydney shows and her shows in Singapore, but that he had a few work commitments and so he wasn't exactly sure of the timing. So I think again, we can all relax. They're not broken up. They're still very much together. They just have jobs. They have to work. You know, I think what we're, what we've seen over the course of their relationship so far is that they're both very busy people who have very demanding, busy jobs. But when they have time to see each other, they make time to see each other, which I think shows that they're committed and they're in it for the long haul. Another sign that they're still together and everything is fine is Taylor was actually spotted wearing the Chiefs Super Bowl hat when she was flying from Melbourne, where she played last weekend, to Sydney, where she has shows this weekend. So she's still in the Chiefs spirit. She's very much, I think if you're a football fan or sports fan, it's very common, right? When you're traveling at the airport, you want to wear your favorite team's merch. So Taylor is just taking a page out of a true fan's book and wearing her Chiefs merch while she flies from one city to the next. So again, I think all is well. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Travis in Sydney this weekend for her shows. And if not this weekend, then perhaps when she heads to Singapore for those shows. So don't worry, Swifties, it's all gonna be okay. Also, just a bit of a side note, I've been loving seeing how many Swifties, Taylor Swift fans, have been wearing Travis Kelsey jerseys, shirts to her shows in Australia. It's actually kind of been shocking in a way, not shocking, but to see, I guess it wouldn't be that surprising if we were seeing people in Chiefs gear, Travis Kelsey merch in the States, but the fact that so many people have been wearing it in Australia is really fun. And it's been cool too because I think a thing that we've been seeing, especially with this Eras tour, is so many fans dressing up as their favorite Taylor Swift eras, um, really diving into the costumes, taking a lot of time to make their costumes, and it's been awesome to see the creativity. But what's been cool about this Travis Kelsey aspect, part of it is that now the boyfriends, the husbands, the brothers, the partners get to wear something too that kind of plays into the Taylor Swift um I guess, storyline in in the Travis Kelsey shirts. And I've been seeing so many TikToks and like Instagram reels of stadiums being full of people wearing Chiefs gear, Travis Kelsey merch. In fact, I, I believe Taylor Swift actually liked an Instagram reel recently of a family that was wearing Chiefs gear and Travis Kelsey merch. So she loves it clearly. And I just think it's crazy that we live in a world where internationally people are wearing Chiefs merchandise and Travis Kelsey merchandise. It's pretty cool, honestly. Okay, moving on to our next topic, which is 
We now know the, for the first two shows in March, the first two SNL shows in March, we now know the hosts, the musical guests, and somebody is making their SNL debut. So for the first show in March, March 2nd, Sydney Sweeney will be hosting the show with musical guest Casey Musgraves. Now, I said this before on this show, Sydney Sweeney is definitely the woman of the moment. She is a rising star. So this is not shocking that she's hosting. Casey Musgraves, incredible artist, love her music. She's putting out a new album in March, I believe. So makes total sense. I think they're gonna be a great duo together. Looking forward to that one. And then March 9th, we have Josh Brolin clearly doing press for Dune part two with musical guest Ariana Grande. Now Ariana Grande, it's been a crazy last couple of years for Miss Miss Ariana. She obviously is, she's filmed Wicked part one, which is coming out at the end of this year. She's also filming Wicked part two, I believe. She's gotten divorced. She's been in a lot of relationship drama. Her new music is coming out. Um, but she's kind of been, I feel like music has been on the back burner for her the last couple of years. And so I'm excited to get this new era of Ariana and I'll be curious to see how that goes down and what kind of music we're going to get from her. So looking forward to both of those shows. Okay. The last and final piece of news is, um, I'm, I mentioned it at the top one, one star decided to, uh, to go completely nude on the cover of Vanity Fair. And you may have a guess as to who this person is, um, but it is none other than another rising star in Hollywood right now, Barry Keoghan. So I'll explain. If you've grown up in the pop culture world, if you're obsessed with movies and magazines like I've been since I was a young kid, the Vanity Fair Hollywood issue has always been a issue I've looked forward to because they typically get a number of major actors and put them all on the cover together. And it's kind of all the people who have big, buzzy movies out that that year. And so this year, they obviously gathered a number of people. I will read out those names very shortly. But what was interesting is the way that they revealed it was they posted on Instagram almost like a moving video image where it was almost like they were on like a um, moving walkway carousel where like someone would pop into frame and then they'd fade out and then the next person would come through and they would kind of like talk and chat to each other. If you're not, it's it's hard to explain a visual thing, but go to the Entity Fair's Instagram and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so here are the names and kind of as they're revealed. Bradley Cooper, Natalie Portman, Pedro Pascal, Coleman Domingo, Jodie Comer, Lily Gladstone, Greta Lee, Charles Melton, Divine Joy Randolph, and Jenna Ortega. And then at the very end, you see Barry Keoghan completely nude, which if you don't know, is an ode in homage to his character in Saltburn, um, who goes completely nude at the very end of the movie, spoiler alert, and dances around a home to murder on the dance floor. If you haven't seen Saltburn, you'll be like, what? But if you've seen it, you know. Um, and I just love it. I think it's funny. It's a callback. He's definitely not afraid to go for it. Um, and I, I've always loved these issues. I always love just like seeing the styling, the people that they pick, it's fun. And the fact that Barry is brave enough to, um, to just go for it on the cover of Vanity Fair, gotta give him his props. Good job, Barry. All right, guys, that is it for today's show. Let me know in the comments what you think about all the different topics. Is Travis going to end up in Sydney this weekend? What's gonna go on with that? All the things, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.